Welcome back to my channel, According to Cat. If you are new here, please introduce yourself in the comments below. If you're returning, just say hi. And what are we gonna be making today? Okay, everyone. We are going to be making three farmhouse DIYs using Dollar Tree and other very affordable products. The first one is that pillow, then this really cute planner, and last but not least, this awesome basket. If you wanna learn how to make them, just stay tuned. like to know what supplies I've used, check out the description box below. And with all that being said, let's get right into the video. DIY number one, placemat pillow. So the first thing I did was I took these two really cute placemats from the Dollar Tree and I'm taking off the tags to get them ready to make into a pillow. So I have my hot glue gun ready, but you can use a sewing machine or just simple needle and thread. I think the hot glue worked out perfect for me, but again, you can use what you are comfortable with. So the first thing I have is this ribbon and it is from Hobby Lobby. Now, Dollar Tree does have a gray burlap ribbon that looks so similar to this and I would by all means use that, but I didn't have any in my stash and I have not gone out to any stores yet. My stores just opened up last week and so I'm just using up what I have. So after I added those two long lines of hot glue on the edges of that ribbon, I am carefully placing it down on my placemat towards the end. Now I did not measure this, but because there is a pattern on there, I was able to line it up pretty straight based off of the placement of those, what, are, what would you call those? Like, I don't know, little flowers, but I don't, I know they're not flowers. Are they like, is that like a, Greek symbol? No, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Uh, whatever it is. And then on the other side, I did the same thing. Any loose parts, I just went under with my hot glue gun and just added a dab of hot glue. I did not put a ton of it on because I didn't want it see seeping through, but I will tell you that ribbon is very forgiving because sometimes you can see hot glue through a ribbon and that you really couldn't. So now I am taking this ticking ribbon. This is also from Hobby Lobby and I know Dollar Tree does have a really cool ticking ribbon but I did not have that and I'm cutting off two pieces to put down the center of that ribbon, the previous ribbon. So I'm burning the edges just so it doesn't fray. I don't really think I needed to do this just because you know well it's going to be tucked inside behind that front fabric. Okay, so now I'm going to take a bead of hot glue and just make a line all the way down in the center of that burlap ribbon and place this ticking ribbon right on top. That ticking ribbon is one of my favorite ribbons. I love it and it goes with everything. And I will just smooth it out and there you go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold these ribbons under so that they are on the, on the inside of the pillow. I put a little hot glue and just held it in place. For some reason, these placemats held hot glue awesome and yeah, they didn't get like super stiff or anything. I don't know, it, was, it just worked out perfect with the hot glue. And I'm going to do all four corners where those ribbons are going to be folded in. And I just waited and held it for a second. Now I'm going to close up the two placemats. Now I'm gonna take it one side at a time and just work my way around the pillow. That way the hot glue will not dry by the time I get to it. And then I just push it down with my fingers and make sure it's closed. Actually, I do get a little opening there and I'll show you how I fix that. So I go and now I'm going to do the top end of the pillow and again, just pushing it with my fingers. And I'm doing this section in little sections as well. And that way I am able to keep it straight. And again, the hot glue doesn't dry. Now I am working on the other side of the pillow. I will make a long line of hot glue and just press that down. Now I've come to the bottom of the pillow. So what I'm gonna do is do a little bit on the left, a little bit on the right, and leave an opening in the center. That way I can fill it with my polyfill. 
If you don't have any polyfill, you can use an old pillow or something that you can take the stuffing out of. And I know that Dollar Tree even had a few pillows at one time. So if you see anything like that or have that in your sash, you could cut one of those open if you're no longer using them. So I have that little opening and I'm going to be putting in this polyfill and I'm gonna to try to get it up into the corners and fill it out as best I can. As I am filling it, I notice right there on the left, you can see it, is a hole or just where the seam has opened. And I'm going to show you how quickly and easily I was able to fix it. So before I kept stuffing it, I wanted to fix this so that it didn't get too full and then I was struggling with it. So I'm just gonna put a little hot glue right in there and then I'm just going to press it closed hold it for a second, and then I'm gonna look around the edges and make sure I don't have any others before I fill it up completely. So now that that was good, I'm going to just keep putting some polyfill inside. However, now I don't want it too full. I don't like pillows that are like puffy, puffy. I don't, I don't know, I just don't like that. I like when there's like, you can do that little karate chop at the top and so they have a little give. So that's how I made this pillow, but you can fill it as much or as little as you'd like. Now on the bottom, I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing a section at a time, just so that I can get that nice and closed and that there are no seams opening. And again, this fabric that's on this placemat worked so well with the hot glue. And because the seams were already on that placemat, it really looks like this pillow was sewn. And I just love how it turned out. I hope you do as well. DIY number two, Distress Planner. So the first thing I did was I took this Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover Ultra Matte Slate Spray Paint and this Dollar Tree Planter as well as that Dollar Tree Basket in the back. And yes, stay tuned for that because it's amazing. And this chalk paint, Waverly chalk paint in mineral. Now I'm going to give this planter a dry brushing to really make those raised areas on the planter stand out. Now, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I upload every week and I like to bring you decor on a budget. And if you like this video so far, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. So yeah, thanks for that. And so I will just keep brushing that on, not to turn it into a mineral planner, but just to brush a little bit on. Now you can see the bottom there. I tested to make stripes on here with some painter's tape. And I always test on the bottom to see if it's going to rip up any paint and it did, so I didn't do it. But I was covering that with some uh, Waverly chalk paint in Elephant because even though it's on the bottom, I'm crazy and I like my pieces to look finished and I couldn't stand that that was down there. So yeah, okay, so these are some greenery pieces from Walmart. I used this in another DIY and I just took it out and I wanted to refresh it. So I just took out all those pieces and put them back in. Now I'm taking that same ticking ribbon that I used on the pillow and I'm just going to put a string of it right around that planner because I wasn't able to put the stripe on and I'm making a little bow cutting off the tails and I will hot glue it in place. You can see that little area is kind of like bulging out and that's where I end up putting it just to, I don't know, cover that up. And just holding that in place and this one is finished. I hope you like this one as much as I do.
Okay, DIY number three, basket with the faux leather handles. Oh, I love this one. Okay, so I took this Dollar Tree basket I had for a while. It is navy blue, but I wanted it to kind of match everything else I was doing today. So I decided to paint it that same uh, slate color that I used on the planner. Now I am using this same ribbon. Again, you can use the ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I did not have any, but it looks almost the same as this, so you would have been fine. So I am taking a piece and I'm putting it on the back just to hot glue in place. Anytime I hot glued on here, I did it in the back or hit it behind something so you won't see that. And now I'm just weaving it in and out of those plastic rungs. And you can see how I'm doing this. Now, the first time around, like the first time I used the ribbon around, I, I didn't do it the way I would tell you to do it. I kind of just went in and out and then I went back to hot glue, but it was, as you can see, <laughs> it was very hard to get behind that ribbon to hot glue it in place. So yeah, don't do this. Even though I thought this was the better choice because I thought, oh, I'm just gonna go around and I'll just quick weave it in and out and then go back with my hot glue. Yeah, don't do that. All right, so then my idea was I was going to make this whole basket in one direction that same colored ribbon. Well, I'm just cutting off any excess ribbon in the back, just so you know. I did not have enough of that gray ribbon, so you could see here I cut my next piece for the center, and then I see, uh-oh, I don't know if I have enough, and then I don't, I'm just a little short. So I decide I'm gonna do it at the top and I will try to find another ribbon to weave through the middle. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing, putting some hot glue right there on the back of that plastic, what should we call those, rungs? Let's just call them rungs, cause I don't know what to call them. Um, and then I will go around and I go weave in and out and every other one I will hot glue right there in the back so that the ribbon will stick to it and it the ribbon won't go up and down. That's what I didn't want to happen. Cutting off any excess and hot gluing that in place. See how much easier that was? I like to weave and glue at the same time. Don't weave and then glue at the end because that just didn't work out for me at all. All right, so then I had this ribbon and another one from Costco. This was during the holidays and they had big like rolls of ribbon. I like to get them during the holidays because you get so much on a roll. I'm debating which one I want to use. I end up going with the darker one. The lighter one was really pretty but it had like a sheen to it and I didn't think it would go with this so I didn't use that one. Okay so I am now going to weave this in and out the same way. This DIY is super easy. It's just a little time consuming because you do a lot of weaving, but it's really not hard at all. So now I wanna make my pieces that are going down. So I hot glued it like underneath in the back. Now I'm going to loop it around. So I'm covering that up and I'm pushing that on just to hold it in place for a second. And then you're gonna see what I do here. I'm gonna go behind the gray ribbon like if you're looking at it from the front, I'm gonna go over the plastic piece, behind the brown ribbon, go over the plastic piece, and then behind the gray ribbon. So I'm going to make the piece going down, going behind the ribbon every single time and over that plastic piece. And I'll show you again. I just wanted to do the first one, so I had an idea of how I was gonna do it. Now I'm going to take that ribbon and I'm going to cut I don't know, 11 more pieces so that I have it ready and I don't have to keep stopping and cutting. So now I'm gonna make like an assembly line. And you can see what I'm doing right here. All right, so again, I'm hot gluing. Just push that over. And then I'm using a little stick. It really wasn't that hot. This hot glue gun doesn't get super hot, so I don't burn myself that much on it. And I will just go right around and like I said, make an assembly line. And I'll do the next one just like. So real quick, if you're wondering what happened to my hand, yesterday I had a little mishap with a blender blade. So everything's fine. I went to the ER, got some stitches and a tetanus shot and we're all good. But please hold in the blade when you're pouring it. Yeah, accidents happen so quickly and yeah, everything's good though. And now I'm just doing the same thing, I'm continuing my little assembly line, 
and making sure those are nice and cooled off before I continue weaving in and out. Again, behind the gray, over the plastic, behind the brown, over the plastic, and behind the gray. I'm lay letting them all lay inside for now, but I'll show you how I'm going to attach them to the basket in a second. You can see what I'm doing here. And you see how it is always over the plastic, but remember that you're, I'm saying this as if you're looking from the outside. Okay, so you can see I just stuffed all those under that, under the basket now. I just went through and just stuffed them all under. Now I'm going to cut them and hot glue them right to the bottom. That way you don't see anything hanging. Um, it just will be all hidden on the bottom. And I just went around and did that to each of those pieces. I was so happy that the whole gray thing did not work out and that the brown was in the middle. I think it just gave it a really cool I don't know, look to it. I really love how this worked out. So now I thought I was going to put the brown around the top. I wanted to cover up the plastic around the top. That is not where you can see me sitting there like trying to think it out. All right, so I used this tablecloth. I got this tablecloth like at, I don't know, like a Ross or something. It was super cheap. And yeah, it just, I didn't like the way it washed but I thought it was really cool to craft with and it was super inexpensive, so I didn't want to take it back. So I thought, you know what? I am going to just use it for crafting and it came perfect timing because I used it for the top of this basket. Now right here, I am dry fitting it. Dry fitting it, <laughs> I don't even know what, why I said that. I'm dry fitting it and I'm going to hot glue it. Now I'm gonna show you, I hot glue right at the base of that plastic rim. Now I'm not doing a very good job of showing you where I'm gluing it, but you will see in a minute. I will eventually get down there, but I am gl hot gluing it right to the base. I did not worry about the inside yet. I'm only doing the outside. So you, do you see where I'm gluing it? Right there, right where it meets up to that gray ribbon. And I just kept pulling it over. Now I'm going to cut off that excess but I don't want any raw edges. So I will show you how I fix that as well after I start hot gluing down the middle or inside, I should say. Okay, so I fold it over. See that how I double folded and then just pressed it down with some hot glue. Double fold over, pressed down with the hot glue. This went super fast. Doing the top I thought was gonna be difficult, but I got in a little rhythm and yeah, it went super fast. I'll tell you, this DIY is so worth it. If you have the patience to do it, it really wasn't hard at all. It just is a little time consuming, but it was so cute. So now I wanna cover up where I where the two ends meet. So I took a little piece of an end that was already stitched up and then I folded in the part that I cut. So it looks like a little tab and I love how it turned out. It added a little, I don't know, something else. And I'm just hot gluing there, waited for it to dry. And then I will take it and hot glue on the inside. I'm sorry, I'm out of the frame there. And you can see I just fold it over again. And so it has a clean edge and then just hot glued it in place. Okay, we're almost done. All right. So there you go. All right, so now I have this belt. Now this belt was from Dollar Zone. It is like a Dollar Tree, but I know a lot of you don't have these in your area. You can use any old belt you have or go to a thrift store. They always have belts there for very, very cheap or inexpensive, uh, maybe a dollar or so. So you can cut one of those up. But yeah, I like using these as handles because I think they look really cool. And yeah, you can't beat a dollar. So I am going to glue it on the inside. Now I knew hot glue wouldn't hold up. So I'm using this super glue gorilla gel. It is good for metal, plastic, um, leather, lots of things. I, I love this stuff. I like the gel though because the other stuff's too runny. Okay, so shake it up really good and I put it on. Now, I didn't want to sit there and hold it forever. So I wanted a little hot glue too. So I'm going to show you what I did. I did super glue on the bottom, hot glue on the top. I didn't want them to mix because then it kind of 
doesn't work as well. And I'm just going to hold it in place. Then I have these little clamps. I got them a long time ago at the Dollar Tree. I got them when my kids were still in strollers and we went to Disney and I wanted to hold down the the tarp over the stroller like if it rained so I got those and I use them all the time for everything now that my kids are not in strollers anymore I use them for crafting and I love these I know that they didn't have them for a while and then I think they might have gotten them back but they're so good at clamping things down and I think you get like I don't know eight for a dollar can't beat that again using the super gorilla glue gel and some hot glue I will link that gorilla glue gel in the bottom in my um my amazon affiliate link in the bottom if you want to go check it out but i do like using that glue and it really holds so many things so now i'm just taking off these clips clamps whatever you want to call them and there you go oh my gosh love this basket it looks even better in person hope you like it as much as i do Here we are at the final reveal, my favorite part of the video, and we get to do a recap of everything we just made. So the first thing was this really cute placemat pillow, and no, it does not look like you glued two placemats together. It looks really, really nice. This is the Distress Planner, and yeah, it was a little quick one, and it's really cute. I love how it turned out, and we are at my favorite, the basket. This I love, and I'm already gonna tell you, it is my favorite of the bunch. You tell me below which one is your favorite, and thank you so much for watching, guys. I will talk to you very soon. So that's it, that's the end of my video. I hope you like everything you saw here today, and I hope it inspires you to make something of your own. If you have not checked me out at Instagram over at Cat Luna Designs, please do so. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, welcome back to my channel according to Cat. If you are new here, hi, welcome back to my channel according to Cat. I'm Cat. If you are new here, no, I don't like that. Hi, welcome back to my channel according to Cat. If you are new here, please check. Give this video a thumbs up.